Thank you so much to, uh, for spending time with us. Actually, tonight at six o'clock, I'm Craig McKee. Tanya is off this week to this story. Now it is a day the family of Caitlin Markham has been waiting 13 years to see. Today, John Carter was sentenced to just three years in prison in the 2011 death of his then fiance. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan live in Hamilton tonight. So, Andrew, you were in the courtroom. How is Caitlin's family reacting tonight? Craig, they are saying they are grateful to the judge for imposing the maximum sentence on John Carter. Three years, that was because of a plea deal made last month. But Caitlin's father says it does not bring him closure. John Carter lowered his head as the judge sentenced him to three years in prison. And there was some degree of responsibility that was accepted by the defendant, but it was calculated. A calculation to take a plea deal, which reduced murder charges to involuntary manslaughter. Relieved. Grateful. Caitlin's father, Dave, overwhelmed with emotion. No, it's not closure. Um, but it's a start of something, something else to come. Caitlin Markham went missing in 2011. Her body found years later, 30 miles from her Fairfield home. Carter wasn't arrested until March of last year, but the evidence of the case was circumstantial. It's unclear how Markham died, and Carter still hasn't said what happened that night. That is why there's no closure. I still do not know the whole story. In front of a packed courthouse, Dave spoke about his daughter. She had talent, dreams, was making a name for herself. She was a bright, bubbly young woman, and it hurts no and I do not get to see her blossom. And a family attorney spoke on behalf of family and friends. Even if whatever happened that night was an accident, covering it up and lying for 13 years was most certainly not accidental. Carter shook his head in disagreement at times during the hearing. He declined to make a statement. His lawyer argued for the minimum sentence, probation. Your Honor, the law says John is amenable to available community control sanctions. The judge disagreed. Anything short of the maximum sentence would demean the seriousness of the offender's conduct. Tonight, Carter is behind bars. Dave and I wrote this prayer. The family's prayers answered. And Lord, give us the perseverance to continue honoring Caitlin tomorrow and for as long as we live. The family now plans to start advocating for new legislation to essentially extend the statute of limitations in cases that involve a missing body. In this case, it likely would have extended John Carter's sentence. In Butler County, Andrew Rod, WCPO 9 News.